Edria Espinoza was seven months pregnant when she woke up in excruciating pain. Her mother rushed her to the hospital. It just felt like something wasn't right. The nurse took the monitor and rubbed it on Edria's abdomen to hear the baby's heartbeat, and there was nothing. And that's when I knew that this was serious, that the baby wasn't okay. The doctors prepared Edria for an emergency delivery. When she came out, she wasn't moving or breathing. And I saw them take her to the other side of the room, and they started working on her. There was no heart rate. The baby wasn't crying. There were no respirations that were audible at all. Doctors spent the next 30 minutes struggling to bring the stillborn baby back to life. You never want to stop resuscitating a baby. It's like one of your biggest nightmares. When I saw the neurologist shake his head, I knew that there was nothing that they could do. In the midst of her grief, Edria was asked if she would like her baby baptized. That was the first time I talked to God in a long time, and I just asked him to please take care of her. I wasn't sure what I was going to name her yet, and I decided on Ayana because it meant eternal bloom. After the baptism, as Edria said her final goodbyes, something miraculous occurred. All of a sudden, she just went. <gasps> The staff rushed into the room. They did not want us to get excited about her coming to life because she had gone so long without oxygen. She actually came back to life 65 minutes after she was born. Against all odds, Ayana's breathing grew stronger. She was immediately transferred to the neonatal intensive care unit under the supervision of Edria's friends, Dr. Tony Salome and Roshanda Clemens. She was not moving much, not responding to anything. She had an EEG done, which measures brainwave activity. The results were horrible. Statistically, I wouldn't think that she would be able to eat on her own, to walk, to sit up. N nothing prepares you to have to tell a friend that their baby is not going to be totally normal or that their baby may not live. It was explained to us that Ayana had severe brain damage. Their recommendation was that she be removed from life support. That day, Ayana's life support was disconnected. They told me anywhere between an hour and a day she'll pass. But the baby was not finished with her surprises. I can believe that she was breathing. She had a few gasping breaths there for a minute that were kind of scary, but. After that, she was breathing on her own. The doctors would say, OK, well, she's breathing on her own, but she's not responding to touch. So a day later, you would touch her, and she would grab your hand back. And then she developed a suck, which meant that she could feed. That was kind of the point where we all were really excited. That's when Dr. Salome said to Edrie and I, this looks like this is Ayana's show and we'll just wait to see what she does next. <laughs> and 15 days later, Ayana was well enough to leave the hospital. The doctors just said she's a miracle baby. She's unbelievable, and we don't understand why or how, but we're not going to question it. This has to be in the works and the acts of God. I really believe there's no other explanation for it. Iona, the Miracle Baby, is now three years old, healthier and more adorable than ever. I love it when the doctors say, you know, it's nothing but God. Right. I love it that. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.